Armenian music food dances filled in the Averna Gardens on July 16th, inviting the Londoners to come and be part of the annual Armenian Street Festival. The area surrounding St. Sarkis Church turned into a little Armenia in the heart of London. and individuals contributed to the festival, bringing homemade food, pastries, making traditional barbecue, horovats, and joining the circle dances that unite the Armenian strength and the spirit. Prime Minister Vakim Manukyan welcomed and thanked everybody for attending ASF. He thanked especially the organizers, benefactors, volunteers, as well as the councillor of Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea, for the use of the wonderful Ivona Gardens and St. Sarkis Church for the use of the church's grounds. I am very happy to share the joy of this Armenian Street Festival in London. And I would like to say all of you, I love you. the 25th anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relations between Armenia and the United Kingdom. And over this quarter of a century, relations between our two friendly countries have grown into a strong partnership based on shared values underpinning our common objectives in bilateral and multilateral frameworks. The performance of the festival set the atmosphere starting with Akhtamar dance groups, ethnic dances and then moving on to Katya Chana's performance. This is Armenian paklava, homemade, Armenian honey cake and these are the famous Napoleons as they are called them. And then the rest are all different kind of homemade cakes, from apple cake to chocolate cake. But these primarily are the Armenian ones. Well, it's nice to pass from, you know, mother to daughter or from families, and, and we do like our pastries. Yes, and they are delicious. Yes. <laughs> It seems absolutely wonderful to me that you have people from all over London coming here who are Armenian to celebrate the Armenian culture and religion and it's a, a lovely thing to do on a summer's afternoon. On behalf of the Diocese of London and the Church of England, we are delighted to be working in partnership continuously with the Armenian Church, with its bishop, clergy and people. I'm delighted to be here today on this blessed day and I wish everyone here a very blessed and fulfilling time in this wonderful street festival. actually gathered a few members of the community. Some of us are singers, some of us aren't, not professionally. So we started off with an opera, a grand opera then, uh, called Anush, and we've been going on ever since. And... I 
personally, uh, I'm half um, Armenian and I found my roots and I found uh, culturally I was educated because I didn't know about all these operas. I didn't know we had so many operas and uh, they're not any different from the operas that you find in Europe or anywhere else. And it's been a pleasure singing with the community and strengthening our roots and everything else. You know, there's only one language, that's music. <laughs> these dance ritual ceremonies which are basically a combination of various ritual dances that come together culminate um, in what I consider our story our human story they are Armenian dances ritual dances but uh, they are dances that have been handed over and you know, through living the dances from generation to generation um, it's layer upon layer of experience and they come prepared having brought themselves and their intentions um, and expectations and they just add to it. I think it's wonderful and that we have international people coming over is wonderful as well. That's precisely what it's meant to be. The special guest of the festival, Sibyl, who came all the way from Istanbul, performed at the Armenian Street Festival joined by Andre Simonian. <laughs> It was great to see people joining in. There was an overall feeling, a very good feeling, of wanting to make it work and of participating and bringing others in. I've been chatting with people around and there were quite a few people from abroad who, come, who came specially. One lady came from Belgium, someone else came from um, uh, Greece so that they could coincide their holiday with the street festival and definitely will be coming next year. We're almost finished with our seventh annual street festival. It was a fantastic turnout this year. I would say a few thousand at least at all times in the square. Thank God the weather was really good. All of our performers were fantastic. The food was excellent, as usual. I thought it was amazing. Yeah, you know, we, we are so happy that the weather was uh, on our side. And the, the food was delicious. We had no complaints at all. Everybody was happy, all very satisfied and full. <laughs> this is my first year as being the chairman of the festival, our ministry festival. I'm very pleased how it went. There were lots of people turned up. They really enjoy themselves, lots of music, lots of food, big crowds. So I'm very pleased. I'm tired, but I'm very happy at the same time. I hope to see everybody again next year. We live in Brighton, so we travel all the way from there today. All the way from Brighton, come down and enjoy that lovely, lovely event today. And it's absolutely amazing to have that reunion with all the Armenian people and enjoy lovely music and the lovely food. It's absolutely amazing. The visitors of the festival went home looking forward for next year's annual Armenian Street Festival to celebrate the Armenian presence and culture in the UK.